Did you fall in love with any of these girls? Yes. Who? I definitely fell in love with Sarah. Where'd you find the photo you used? Facebook. How'd you pick it? It was just random. It's not like I had a chart. Some of these relationships did get very romantic and sexual, correct? Correct. Should they feel violated? I would see where they were coming from if they do. How did you avoid meeting them? Or FaceTiming with them or Skyping with them? I know Sarah and I, we would always constantly fight about it. There was a lot of arguments about, you know, why we couldn't meet and things like that. Um, well, how did you avoid it? How did you... You know, you just, you're busy, you know, you didn't have time. Did anybody in your world know what you were doing? No. It was tough because my parents had to, you know, learn about all this too, so. You said in the aftermath that there's two sides to this, that these guys, they're not clean in all of this either. You've, you've kind of described them as mean girls, that they've been hard on you beyond what you think is reasonable. What have they done? When the truth came out, you know, they made, you know, phone calls to my mission president, um, you know, and basically outed me to him, trying to get in contact with my bishop. Things that, you know, that, you know, they weren't in line to do. And, um, blame me for certain actions that they did. What do they blame me for? For the fact that they were drinking and doing things with other people, and I took the blame for that. How is that your fault? Because I lied to them, so I made them go drink. They all say that they're afraid of you in varying degrees, that they're worried, they're concerned, that they don't understand why you would do that to them. Some of these women I haven't talked to in a really long time or haven't even bothered. That's kind of heartbreaking to hear that. Okay, are you ready to go meet these girls? Okay. Are y'all finally ready to meet the woman behind this whole thing? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring her in. Kayla? Can I ask what triggered this in the first place and why you've done it for so long? It's for the simple fact that being gay and being Mormon's hard. You know, your church tells you, we love you, but we don't love who you are. Why did you do this? And I'm not here to justify what I did. Is it hard? Absolutely. I went about figuring out my life the wrong way. And uh, that's why I did it. Was there a reason why you talked to some of us longer than others? Like I know for Kenzie and I, we only talked to you for maybe a month versus other people, you know, went on years. Uh, I don't know. I think you click with people better than others. The situation with Sarah is completely different from the situation with Kelsey and Megan. It's just different. And I'm sorry that I dragged you guys into my mess. Whether you believe me or not, that's up to you. I'm sure your ringleader here would tell you not to. I don't appreciate some things that are being said about my family. I don't appreciate you guys talking about my sister's miscarriage. That's something that deeply hurt my family. I'm sorry for your sister's loss. I don't appreciate the fact that you're sitting here telling people that there's a no contact order, but you have repeatedly tried to contact me through Instagram. I don't appreciate that. So there's only one side that's being told, and now here's the truth that you guys are putting me in a bad light, and I understand what I did was wrong, but there's a lot of things that have happened after this that it's uncalled for. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.